we Biafras are the lost tribe of Israel. I'm here to tell you the true origin of the Biafras, which is the Igbos. Let me begin according to Genesis 29 verse 30. Jacob had 12 sons, namely Reuben, Simeon, Levi, Judah, Dan, Nephtali, Gad, Asher, Issachar, Zebulon, Joseph, and Benjamin. God was the seventh son of Jacob. According to Genesis, according to Genesis 46 verse 16, God has seven sons, namely Haggai, Zephon, Shuni, Esbon, Eri, Arodi, and Areri. Sometime in the Middle East, famine strike, and Jacob moved with his family and other 70 relations to Egypt. But before then, Joseph, who was the 11th son of Jacob, had been sold by, e by his brothers to Egypt, where he was made governor general under a king pharaoh. As time goes on, the pharaoh that knows Joseph died, and they started suffering persecutions from the hands of the Egyptians. Eri, the fifth son of God, foresaw the danger, persecutions, suffering, and wickedness coming. He decided to live on time with his two younger brothers, Arodi and Areri, with their half-brothers. They traveled through Ethiopia, Sudan, and downward West Africa through River Nile, and landed in a place known as Aguleri today, through Amambala River in Anambra State, around 1305 BC. Eri established and lived very close to Amambala River. He was wealthy and wise, just like his great-grandfather Abraham. And this is the reason why Anambra has the highest number of rich people in Africa. Eri gave birth to five sons, namely Agolo, Ata, Oba, Hebrew, and Mary. Agolo, as the first son of Eri, stayed back and established Aguleri in Anambra State. Ata moved upward north and established Egala Kingdom. And this is the reason why their overall chief is known as Ata of Egala in Kogi State. Oba left and founded Oba Kingdom in Anambra State. Hebrew, which was later changed to mean Igbo or Hebrew, he was a very powerful and spiritual man. And this is the reason why people from this area are always spiritual. He left and founded Igbo Titi, Igbo Adabe, and Igbeze within Unsoka and part of Anambra State. Mary left and founded Agukuri, Uri Kingdom. Arodi, which is the sea son of God, left and founded Arochuku, very industrious good at art and craft. Example, Abangwa people of Aba. Arodi gave birth to Nembe, Ngwa, Ogoni, Abakliki, Afiku, Aro Aket Ekbane, which is Akwaibom, Aro Eche, which is River State, and Aro Ndizog. During slave trade, Aro spreaded all over the world, America, Brazil, and Cuba. And Arrow Festival is always been celebrated in Cuba till today. Er Areri, which is the seventh son of God, was a man with a lot of wisdom. The native tongue of his descendant is what you have today as Central Igbo. People from this area has the highest number of graduates and professors in Igbo land. He gave birth to Owere, Omahia, Diobu, Okigwe, Elele, and Mbano. Why Eris half brothers left and founded Ijao nationality and part of Edo State and many part of Niger Delta? Evidence and similarities. Now, to verify some of those things I have mentioned above, go to Aguleri. There is a particular house known as Obogad. That is house of God. This Obogad, in honor of their father God, the seventh son of Israel. Remember, God was the seventh son of Jacob. Go to Genesis 29, verse 30. And God has seven sons of which the last three were Eri, Arodi, and Areri, with their half brothers that left Egypt to downward West Africa. Go to Genesis 46, verse 16. This Abu God was the first house to be built in Igbo land. And this is the reason why every man in Igbo land always built a place in his house known as Obi or Abu, in honor of his father, and mainly for relaxation. And in the olden days, there's always a family shrine or little oracle. And they worshipped oracle then because their father 
left Egypt before God gave the Ten Commandments to Moses for the Israelites, of which one of the Ten Commandments is against idol worshipping. Even the modern day it was built to be or abode as a side bar without any shrine, while some Christians don't build, don't build or be anymore because of their belief. This can also be called every temple. This Obo God also serves as a consultation place for real fathers, which have direct route to Eri. Secondly, at the burial site of Eri, there is a trinity tree. At the burial place of Eri, there is a trinity tree standing on the grave site. These are three trees, but are strongly united and connected by a single tap root. Adam means first daughter in Israel. Go to Genesis chapter 4 verse, two, uh, chapter 4, verse 19 and 20. And it means the same thing in Igbo language. When an Igbo man is, make, is making opinion in public gathering, he will shout Igbo queen. And the people will respond by saying, Yah. Yah is a short form of Yahweh. Yahweh is the name of Jewish God. The Israelites manufacture 80% of world weapons and 70% of USA weapons. Just like the Igbos manufacture 80% of the weapons used during the Afra war, of which no African nation had ever done. The Igbos were only defeated due to hunger policy. By now, we should have been manufacturing war weapons for Africa, and no country should have gone outside Africa to purchase war weapons to fight insurgency, if not for the bad policy of Nigeria. The Igbos are the most highly technologically inclined people in the whole Africa. You can also find out that they always manage the post of science and technology and industries in many Nigerian ministerial posts. The first West African billionaire is from Newi, Chief Lyos Ojuku. The, indig the indigenous, the black indigenous vehicle manufacturer, example, Kosharis Motors and Enosin Motors. The indigenous mobile phone and computer manufacturer, example, Slock Mobile is owned by Nadja Zakano. Uh, Zainos Computer is owned by Stan Leo Eke. And Slock Mobile is owned by Namdi Ezibo, the father of internet and the founder of fastest computer in the whole world, Philip Emegwale. We carry our dead ones home just like the Israelites. Go to Genesis chapter 49, verse 29, verse 30 to chapter 50. Just like the Israelites were, were ruled or led by elders and priests. Israelite has no king until Samuel anointed Saul to become the king of Israelites. And that is the reason why the Israelite was led by Prophet Moses and many other prophets. Conclusion, conclusion Israeli ambassador Noakes confirmed that the Igbos are Jews. Check the list on newspaper 2004. Therefore, the Igbos are the block engine and Japan of Africa. No wonder an author with international reputation, Emefiena uh, Nia, said that in Biafra, Africa died. We love our neighbors. We accommodate everybody. We can live everywhere and develop anywhere. It is in our blood to develop. We are God's people, a choosing generation. Let Nigeria stop the marginalization of the Igbos and Biafra or let them have their freedom. As for the Igbos, we should know whom we are. We are God's people, the God of Abraham, Isaac, and Jacob. We should aim and think bigger and work harder as it is in our blood. And let every parent endeavor to teach their children Igbo language and culture. The Chuko Kikabe and I do with you all. You see? You see?